Happy Monday, everyone. We've seen both semifinals. We saw Alex Masialis take out Jeremy Cadeau. We saw Alexei Chermisinov take out Guillaume Bianchi. Now here's the final. This is once again from the Bonn World Cup uh, this February. And yeah, let's get right into it. Three, two, one, go. All right, we've got Alex on the left, Chermisinov on the right. Let's see, uh, this video is a pretty short one, I believe. I didn't uh, look at the timestamp before I downloaded it, but here we go. Uh, it's kind of hard to call a favorite between these two. Um, both looked pretty solid coming into this bout. I don't actually know who wins. Uh, I think I did last week when I looked at the results of um, both of them, but I've forgotten since then. But so much the better. Lots of bouncing here. Oh, nice attack from Alex. It's kind of interesting. I'd expect them to march straight off the bat, but there's quite a bit of uh, hesitation here from both. Now, we didn't see Cheremisinov going for that many marching attacks, uh, and the Russian style really doesn't um, include uh, that much marching attacks like you see from the Americans a lot. There is some movement up and down the strip, though. But Alex coming out with a prep like he always does. Pair or post, stepping back. Off target, though. Let's see. Yeah, that's something I've noticed um, with Chermis. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was fast. Um, I couldn't really follow the blades there. I got I to gotta pay attention, man. This is, this is going to be tough to call. Um, but yeah, right now, Chermisov's game looks like uh, let Alex march at him. And if he gets a little bit too close, take the blade and immediately start um, his own attack. Alex, um, I talked about this a little bit. Oh, again. That timing of the pair repost is very interesting, because he takes the blade early, delivers the repost, and then gets away. With Alex, a lot of the time, uh, he'll make the blade action early, and then move his feet. But as you see there, Cheremisinov can make a knees um, before Alex is ready to get away. So this is pretty much what we'd expect from these two, I'd say, so far. Running attack. Alex finds the blade running away, I think. Yep. Pair repost for him. Yeah, I wasn't... I. Against uh, Bianchi, who's a little bit less experienced, uh, these running attacks from Sheremisinov were enough to push him back, but Alex is going to find the blade um, much more easily. And, oh, there's a counterattack though. Alex not quite able to find the target from the prep. But yeah, that running attack from Sheremisinov, um, I'd say maybe less effective against someone like Alex, who's able to deliver the parry post while running away pretty solidly. Alex attacks, Sheremisinov parries. Again, that running attack walks right into Alex's parry post. Yeah, I don't... I'm not sold on it. He might be able to deliver it with a disengage, but uh, that's asking quite a bit, especially if he's already careening forward uh, with this running attack. So now he's pulling things back a little. Sorry if you can hear all this, like, doors opening and closing in the background. Now that's nice. Has the timing to step in and remise um, while Alex misses the repost. It wasn't a great angle, but he didn't really have that many options uh, with what Cheremisinov did. Now Cheremisinov stopped marching there, you saw. Alex was like, ah, I take it over now. Um, but again, he missed, and Cheremisinov uh, found the counterattack. But yeah, I'd say Cheremisinov's attack is his one of his less effective tools in this case. It's going to be what happens right after his attack fails that's uh, really going to decide the point. Not sure what he's doing here. Alex tries to find a way in. Now, I don't know why Alex is less confident in his march here. Chermisnov maybe isn't one to um, respect it that much. He'll just go for some sort of action immediately into it. Yeah, you can see he's starting the prep, but not really committing that far without taking the blade. He's being very cautious. Perhaps rightly so. <laughs> Chermisnov takes the blade, just steps back. He's fencing very casually. I noticed that too in his semifinal with Bianchi. It didn't look like he was uh, uh, fencing very intensely. Of course, he's still a deadly opponent, no matter how... Oh, there's a parry post. Yeah, I mean, the results speak for themselves. He's, he's pulled a lead on Alex, which is no mean feat. And he's done it in a way that looks kind of easy. After he stopped doing those uh, running attacks and forced Alex to come his way, things are turning around a bit. Again, Alex not... Okay, kind of marching, but he's not making more than a couple steps in a row before backing off, because I guess he's afraid of Chermisnov's counterattack or a pair of post. 
But here Cherimisnov tries it, and Alex can finish, so I don't know what the deal is. Alex is known for being able to finish uh, from some crazy positions, um, including the prep, which, as you're seeing him do here, this blade a little bit down in 7. Cherimisnov doesn't really want to attack, though. I can imagine why, because uh, his attack kind of failed earlier on. He might give it a shot. Again, Alex's march, <laughs> he just keeps giving it up. There's a running attack from Cherimisnov. This time finds a way through. Now, I heard two sounds. I think the first one might have been Alex's parry, and the second might have been a uh, counter parry or another beat from Cherimisnov there to seal it. Or it might have been Alex's repose just happening to land on Cherimisnov's guard. Either way, not entirely sure what he did differently there. The distance looked a little wider than the previous few. Now Alex is marching in earnest. Yep, he can finish that easily. That's that's what we expect from Alex, I think. I'm surprised he wasn't uh, committing that hard on the previous attacks. He looked a little bit nervous almost. Let's see if he does it here again. I'll, oh, wow. I was going to say, I like how precise the size of Cherry Masonov's steps are there on the defense, but he took a bit big of an advance right afterwards. Maybe a little overconfident, and Alex hit him in preparation. This time attack left off target? Interesting call. This period's gone by uh, pretty fast, but there's been a pretty big score so far too. Alex tries to march, finds a way through again, yeah. Cherimisinov, I'm not sure if he's trying to find a way to step in with the counterattack, because he tried to before and Alex just hit him. Um, his pair post worked well against Bianchi, but it may not against someone of Alex's skill. That's an attack in preparation. Alex's response is counter time, but he misses the repost and Cherimisinov's remise arrives. That's also kind of interesting. I'd expect Alex to just finish straight into that, not try to find the blade first. Counter repost from Alex, or third counter repost from Alex's off target. Jesus. And we're going to let the period go. 8-7 already. Uh, wow. Yeah, still anyone's game. Um, I'd say now that Alex is maybe a little bit more confident in his marching attack uh, from the prep, it's going to be a little bit harder for Tremis not to do anything. Uh, his own attack, that, that like running attack we saw, worked once uh, just now, but a couple of times before it wasn't looking so great. Similarly, Alex's previous uh, attempts to march have been forestalled Maybe more so by his own nervousness than by anything Sharon Misenov did. Um, but they do seem fairly evenly matched. I could see this going either way. We'll see if anything major changes. If this continues, I'd, I'd maybe give Alex a slight advantage. Uh, just because we haven't really seen Sharon Misenov do much successfully against the prep um, if Alex is able to turn a light on. Which, knowing him, it's going to be most of the time. Unless Sharon Misenov, uh does switch things up and do something crazy. Also, these really rapid sorts of uh, like counter post situations going back and forth. Um, so Alex does, of course, have very good point control, but we saw against uh, Bianchi, Cherimisinov's pair post game is quite solid as well. So that's also kind of a wash of a situation. <laughs> now Cherimisinov looks much more into it. Oh, wow. Alex finishes straight. Maybe not the best of ideas. And again, Cherimisinov's pair post is good enough there. Also, I'd say watch the watch the distance Jeremy Snob uses. Final counter post from the right, maybe. Yep, there it is. Yeah, let's let's take a look at Jeremy Snob's distance control if Alex marches at him again. Both stop, both go, maybe. That time Alex definitely looked like he missed. Uh, does ask for the referee to check his weapon. Yep. <laughs> I can hear Greg trying to coach him. <laughs> we'll see if it's gonna be enough. That was. That was a very nice display there from Jeremy Snov, right in a row. Got three touches, very different touches too. Yeah, okay. There's an attack from Jeremy Snov now. Alex, maybe not ready for that at all, because he, <laughs> Jeremy Snov didn't do anything like that in the first period. Throws out the counter attack at the end, and maybe he's lucky that Jeremy Snov hit off target there. That was odd. I'm not sure why Alex missed that one. That was maybe a bit risky. Jeremy Snob just did a straight lunge right into Alex's prep. Breaks inside with the blade. So Jeremy Snob is kind of doing similar defensive style to what Alex does. He finds the blade early and then decides what to do with his feet after that. There's a counterattack. That time Alex's beat was so big that I think Jeremy Snob was being opportunistic. Um, 
Alex was so big on finding the blade that he wasn't ready to put the tip on immediately afterwards, so there was a timing window there for Chermis not to just hit him. Counter post again to the back. Wow. So before that situation was kind of a wash, like they were both equally, I think, capable of hitting from there, but now Chermis Nav is just owning it, man. This is really fast. <laughs> He's already within two. Again, Alex's arm is very late there. You could see he was he was more focused on the blade than than uh, finding the target. But I mean, perhaps rightly so because Shemisanov's pair of post game is uh, very solid. You've got to know where the blade is if you want to have a prayer of finishing. This time again, he misses that that line. I don't agree with though. Like, <laughs> can't quite tell what Greg is saying, but he sounds quite exasperated. He's got to turn this around somehow. And wow, kind of repost battle back and forth. That was really fast, guys. Jesus Christ. Alex was looking on par with him, but in the second period, Chermisnov just kind of stormed ahead. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't really have time to analyze much because touches were just happening so quickly. Um, but all the situations that were kind of neutral before immediately turned to Chermisnov's favor. Like the counter repost battles we saw, um, kind of result in an off-target or maybe unclear call from both sides. Suddenly, Chermyasnov was getting one light on everything. Um, and rightly takes the victory at this World Cup. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm not sure what the next uh, live commentary is going to be. Feel free to recommend bouts in the comments. And as always, until next time, stay sharp.